may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house. And he made them sport. And they sat in between the pillars. And Samson said unto the lad, The lad held him by the hand, Suffer me, that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women. All the lords of the Philistines were there. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld while Samson made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, Lord God, remember me. I pray thee and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may be avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which it was borne up, and of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might. And the house fell upon the Lord's and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Amen. I want you to Notice, if you will, that 22nd verse. And I guess as a start out, my question is, why is this verse here? Why is the 22nd verse there? If the shaving of his head was an irreversible, unrepairable, unfixable offense that would never be rectified in the eyes of God. If when his hair was cut, it meant that never again God would ever show favor to him, ever again God would bless him, never again would God speak to him, Never again would God hear him. All right. Would you explain to me why the Bible, why the Holy Ghost inserted the words seemingly that don't fit the verse before nor the verse after, but simply thrown in there that how be it, even though all this has happened, how be it, the hair of his head began to grow again. My question is simply as I start, why did the Bible take note of that if it meant nothing? If it, if it would never ever be fixed, if it would never ever come back, why did the Bible mention that his hair's growing again? Right. Amen. 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 I'd like to, I, up in our part of the country, amen, they, they have in certain areas huge stands of pine. Then they, they grow plantation pine. And in the south, down in Alabama and the Carolinas, even more. And you look in those pines when they get a certain age. And you can see all the way through them, row after row of big pine trees. And nothing growing underneath them. Not a briar, not a grapevine, not a fern, not a twig, nothing. Just bare ground and pine trees as far as you can see. Up in Wisconsin, they'll have popple thickets where the trees will get a certain size and it'll be just bare out and under them. But in the wood log companies will come in, Brother Cindy, and they'll go in there and they'll cut entire sections of it. They'll hire a haul away every bit of the lumber. They'll haul every log out of there and they'll bring in the big chippers and they'll chip everything else up and haul the wood chips away. And when you look at it, when they're done, there's nothing but just bare ground and stumps. But go back there in about a year, and it looks completely different. There's things growing everywhere. Nobody comes in and plants it. It was there all alone. It just didn't have a way to come up. Yeah. But once they got all that cut down, it starts coming back up. You go back in a few years and you can't get through there for the second growth. The second growth comes in thick. 
the second rope comes in strong. And I'd like to preach just a very little while tonight. Oh, thank God for the second rope. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Notice that. What grew back after Samson had been shaved was not something different. It was not something inferior. It was not something other than what had been there before. But what came back that second time was the very same thing that had been there the first time. And I'm going to tell you something, saints of God, and you may fall out with me, and I hope you don't, but amen. Amen. If it was not for things growing back, the first time everything I had got cut down, I'd have never went another step. But there have been times, Brother David, in my walk with God, that I felt like everything was cut down. I felt like they had just made a broad swath through there and everything was cut down. But God said, hold on just a little while. And it started growing again. And I feel like, amen, if this is a revival of gathering, and if it is a revival for the remnant, and I believe that it is, we are going to have to come to the realization that when things are cut down, amen, that is not the end of the matter. Amen. It is not the final conclusion of the matter. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Bible, Emma. The Bible said in the book of Job, is there hope of a tree? If it be cut down. Amen. If the root wax old in the earth. Amen. It looks like it's gone completely. He said, yet yeah, but the sin of water. And it starts growing again. It brings forth shoots. Amen. I'll take tonight, saints of God. Thank God. Amen. When I read that today, amen, and it said it grew again, I got to asking the Lord, Lord, why is that there? Does it either mean anything or because there are some that believe one tiny slip or one simple thing and there's never any coming back. Amen. There is no road back. I'll tell you, friend, I thank God there is a road back. Amen. If there was no road back, amen, there would be several less here tonight. And I most likely would be one of them. Amen. There have been times I've had to go to God and say, God, I need you right now. I need you to help me. I need you to touch me. I need you to restore me. Amen. No wonder David said, and I oh, amen. You say, why well, were you talking? David said, he restored my soul. Amen. Why do that? Why do that if once your soul slips? There is no coming back. Amen. And Brother David, the devil, the devil revels in telling folks it will never be like it was. Amen. Tell me what the difference was in what grew again out of Samson's head and what grew there the first time. Come on. Amen. It weren't pine trees growing out of his head the second time. It weren't broom straws. It's the same thing that grew the first time. And I'm going to tell you, friend, amen, and I don't advocate backsliding. I don't. Amen. I am not a fan of it, and I'm not a proponent of it. Amen, little children, I would that you sin not. But if you sin, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, who is a propitiation of our sins, but not our sins only, but the sins of the whole world. Amen. Well, sister, there's some I'd like to tell. That there's some that I believe they get to the place where they feel like there's no way for me to come back. There's no way it can ever be like it was. There's no way I can ever feel what I want time felt. But I feel like tonight in the house of God when I read those scriptures tonight, God placed them in the word of God for a reason. Amen. God stipulated. God pointed out. God made a point to say the hair started growing again. Amen. It meant something. Amen. It was coming back. The second group was coming out. Come on. Amen. 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 We ain't careful. If we're not cautious, 
Amen. And I have heard it. I have heard it preached that you will never, it'll never be like it was uh, the first time you're saved. You'll never, ever have what you one time had. You'll never feel what you one time felt. Uh, but let me ask you something. Amen. It, it, does God have different plans of salvation? Or was God's plan of salvation only paid for on one place? And that was the cross of Calvary. Amen. And I don't know how much blood fell that day, but it was a bunch. But can I tell you the first drop and the last drop was the same stuff. Amen. Amen. And the blood that cleansed you the first time is the blood that cleanses you the second. And the God that saved you the first time is the God that restores. Amen. 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 I want you to look at the Bible in the book of Revelation. Amen. He told the church at Ephesus, he said, repent. Amen. And do the first works. Amen. 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 Well, why didn't he give him something else to do? Why didn't he say you can't do that over again? Amen. No. He said, go back right back the same way. Go right back to the same thing. Go right back and do it the same way you done it. Amen. There, there's folks I believe tonight would be right back in holiness but they felt like I could never come back to holiness. I've got to go to something else. I've got to go find something inferior. I've got to go find something lesser. But I'm going to tell you something friend. Amen. The God that I serve. The God that saved me. The God that forgave me. The God that I've had to go to. Brother Rick time and time and time again. Amen. And repent and call out to him. He never told me to go down the road and find something less. He said, Come right back to the altar. Come right back to where you were. Amen. Come on. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Amen. 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 It began to grow again. Well, don't matter. I ain't never gonna accept him. But the hair began to grow again. I don't care. We ain't never gonna let him. We ain't never gonna let him sing again. I don't, I don't care. Amen. Amen. But the hair began to grow again. We ain't never gonna be able to do nothing again. The hair began to grow again. But he ain't never gonna be affected no more. The hair began to grow again. Amen. Amen. And I notice, amen, that it said the day that he killed at the end were greater than he slew in his lifetime. Amen. Amen. Well, that that Rick Connor. Amen. I don't know about him. I'm going to tell you something, friend. Amen. When the blood cleanses a soul, you best leave it alone. Amen. Amen. I've never eaten anything common or unclean. Call not that which I have cleansed common or unclean. And friend, if he's cleansed you one time from your sin, or if he's cleansed you a bunch of times from your sin, you are clean. Amen. Amen. You are clean. Amen. I, I, amen. Now come on now. You're in your compromise and not a bit, friend. Let me reiterate again. Get saved and stay saved. Don't ever back up. But if you do, amen, if it happens, if you grow weary, if you grow cold, if you grow indifferent, if it seems like you can't get back, I want you to go back and look at that. And God do a verse in the Bible for you. Amen. All right. And it began to grow again. Amen. Amen. Well, we're not going to accept him. Go ahead, don't. But it's growing again. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise God. You say, Brother Asher, you don't even have an idea what you're talking about. Well, this dear tomato did run late, but I believe I do have an idea. Amen. 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 I. I went from danger, I went from angel to devil in one sentence. Amen. Amen. I ain't neither one. Amen. I, I am not an angel. I'm not. Amen. Nor am I possessed of Satan. But I have been accused. Amen. 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 He'll never do nothing. I have had calls. Amen. Call me and said, Brother Asher, are you hungry? Are you starving to death? No, I'm not starving to death. I'm not hungry. Amen.
in the Lord has kept me. And the Lord's made what I'm going to tell you tonight, saints of God, if we're not very careful, amen, we don't realize how great our God really is. Amen. Brother David, as I looked at that today, I saw that, I said, Lord, I have never noticed. I have read that scripture type, got it highlighted in my Bible, but I never understood, amen, the, uh, the significance of it being right there. Yeah. Amen. Oh, God. If I'll be shaped, I'll be like any other man. Yeah. How Samson's idea. Samson's opinion was, if my hair is ever cut, I will never, ever be anything again. I'll just simply be like anyone else from that moment on. Amen. But it began to grow again. Amen. Amen. And what gets me, amen, he told God, strengthen me this one time, Brother Sidney. And this is just me. Don't fall out of me. But I believe the strength was there. Amen. Amen. I believe the strength was there when he leaned against the pillars. Amen. Because I'm not going to tell you tonight, saints of God, if we'll make our mind up. Amen. I may get weary on this journey. And I may get low on this journey. And I may get downhearted on this journey. And I may feel like, amen, that uh, the situation has just got it toppled. Amen. But if I can lift my hand up to God and I can make my way back to the altar, of God and I can cry out to God once again thank God there is a God of the second growth here tonight amen thank God when the trees are all cut down that it don't become a desert in just a little while it'll grow right back up again amen amen come on now saints of God I wish somebody praise him here tonight amen Brother Rick, I know that you are you are a very good at what you do or you wouldn't be as busy as you are. But has there ever been back in the misty past of Rick Mason, of Rick Connor Masonry, back in the misty past of it, has there ever been a job that when it was over, you said, oh Lord, They'll never, ever, anybody ever call me again. That's it. This is the worst job that has ever been done. It is it is awful. I might as well go get me a lawnmower and start mowing grass. I might as well, I might as well just give up. I might as well just I might as well just forget about it. Amen. Amen. But phone rang again. Amen. Phone rang again. Need you put a lead, need you lay some block. Amen. 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 And it started all over again. Amen. Then you walked away from one and you said, man, that's good. I like that. Amen. But that, come on now. Did you ever preach, Brother Mitchell? Get done preaching and say, Lord, why don't you just, why don't you just fire me right now? I'm not fit for nothing. Amen. Amen. I felt that a bunch of times and they feel it again. They feel it right regular. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, friend, he ain't never given up on me. He ain't never quit on me. He always comes by again. Amen. Amen. Go another mile. You may not even, Brother John, they may not tear the house down every time you sing. Amen. You may get up there and not even know the tune of the song. Amen. Amen. You may get up there and sing it and someone will come at you and say, you sung that completely wrong. Amen. But sing it again. Amen. Preach again. Get up again. Go again. Amen. 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 Elijah's servant came back and said, Master, I've done what you said to do. And there ain't nothing out there. He said, go again. Seven times. Amen. And on the seventh time, he said, there arise a little cloud out of the sea about like a man's hand. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Well, Pine Grove, you might as well sell that building. Maybe they can make a, maybe they can make a bingo parlor out of it or something. Amen. Amen. Mark Twain, in a time when news didn't travel instantaneously, amen, Mark Twain was in a certain part of the country and they reported in another part of the country that Mark Twain had died. Headlines. Samuel Clemens 
Mark Twain has passed away. A great American author is gone. And he got up that night and it has been widely quoted that he said the reports of my demise are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Amen. And I'm telling you tonight, friend, the devil that said, Sydney, it's over. The devil that said Pine Grove, it's done. The devil that said Holy the Smokes, give up. The devil that said it'll never be like it one time was. Amen. I'd like to let you know tonight the reports of the demise are highly exaggerated. Amen. Because there is still life in the house of God. There's still worship in the house of God. There's still praise in the house of God. Amen. I wish you praise him here tonight. Someone used to go to church years and years ago. No, that's somebody that's in the house of God tonight. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Ray Ash, Ray Ash, Ray Ash, Ray Ash. Seems like I've heard of him. Didn't he used to preach some? Yeah, a little bit. Amen. Amen. He stopped in the last 10, 15 years. Amen. Amen. We never come around us. Amen. You must have quit. Amen. Just because I ain't around you don't mean to quit. Amen. Amen. You ain't the only show in town, friend. Amen. Amen. Your foe no more. Ain't the only ones going to heaven. Amen. God's got a number that no man can number. Higher tribe, nation, kindred, and tongue. And I'm taking tonight. They still folks that love the Lord. And I feel like I'm in church with someone right now, Sister Judy. I feel like there's some in here right now. And God says you'll never shout again. Amen. You just wait. Amen. You'll never get back. Amen. I'm already back. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm already on my way. And I feel like tonight. Amen. I don't know if there may be a, a huge crowd of visitors here tomorrow night, but it's kind of home folks tonight. And I'd like to tell the home folks tonight. Amen. Lift your head up. Lift your hands up. Amen. Church somewhere over around Urban. Amen. What that man say to you? Say, Amen. Amen. You, you told me last night. Amen. Uh, amen. Don't you have a church somewhere over there? Didn't you? Amen. Saints of God, the world does not have to acknowledge. Amen. That the Lord is moving here for the Lord to be moving here. The Lord. Amen. Can bless you without the world patting you on the back. Or anybody else patting you on the back. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I feel something right here, right now. Amen. From a simple verse of hair starting to grow again. Amen. And I see the world saying, so what? So what? It grows back. Amen. He's lost all his strength. Yeah, tell that to that bunch laying under that pile of rubble up at that building. Amen. Amen. Tell that to, amen. Tell that to them take on worshipers up there. Amen. That the building fell down on their head. That it ain't never going to be no good no more. That it ain't never going to be no more. Amen. Silent. Love us out me more than these. find you a pew and sit down and never make a sound. Oh, God. No! Hey, no. how that goes? No. He said, go feed my sheep. Yeah. Me? Yeah. But I got so weary and so weak, I was about ready to say, no, no. Yeah. Love more than these? Yeah. You know I love you. Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. Amen. I'm going to tell you something for you right here in this service right now. Amen. God is moving. Amen. And I'm going to get out of the way real quick here tonight. But I feel like having church for just a little while. 
Amen. Amen. You say, I'm tired, preacher. I'm going to tell you, friend, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. And I feel like tonight in the house of God, we ought to be praising Him right now. We ought to be praising the Lord right in this service. We ought to be magnifying God. There's some of us that if it, we would have went by the reports of others, you'd have already been gone. They some probably, sister, Kim, they some probably think you've slipped off into oblivion somewhere. Amen. We remember, we remember Kim from years ago. Was she still alive? Yeah, quite. Amen. 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 Praise God. We remember, we remember old Bill years ago. Yeah, he's still right there. Amen. Amen. Don't let it get to amen. I have a way out on a limb somewhere. Or could somebody lift a hand and say, if God wouldn't have just reached for me again, I would have probably been gone. But he reached for me again. He came by again. Amen. Amen. I ask can, can I tell you? Can I tell you for every one of the great rousing disastrous tragedies we oftentimes hear of in the house of God there's far more just don't know what happened I, I, I thought about what, what, you, what, what you said last night little sister done nothing wrong. You couldn't spot his life right now. You you could not find more. You, you, you will not find a needle track on him. Nor a speck of alcohol in his system. Nicotine. Nothing like that. But I'm going to tell you the devil will shave you without sticking a needle in your arm. He can shave you without a scandal. He'll gladly use a scandal to shave you, but he can shave you without a scandal. Do you hear me tonight? Do you hear me, preachers? He can shave you with habits. He can shave you with lusts. He can shave you with desires. He don't have to have none of them. He can just catch you in a low, low, low place. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you're as weak as you've ever been in your life. Amen. 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 But oh, glory to God, it began to grow again. Yes, Amen. Amen. I, I feel, I feel the sure in the saints of God. And I, I, I may be preaching that. Amen. I'm no message tonight because I'm beating. My mind's about 785 miles from here right now. Amen. But there's a God that's able to save. There's a God that's able to bring back. There's a God that's able to turn around. Amen. And I feel more life in Pine Grove right now. Amen. I, I wish we could just worship God here tonight. Amen. And glory to God. Let, let's let the Lord have his way right. Somebody, somebody might be on that fringe borderline of getting ready to obey God. Amen. I wish you would just go ahead and do it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But what come on back? How come going back? How come going back? Woo! How come going back? The same thing. The same thing that got shaved off. Come going back. Amen. 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 Don't you feel like praising him tonight? Amen. Rick Connor. Amen. Amen. That great, great touch of God that's raised, laid down in your soul. The devil's had, he thought he's had you shaved a bunch of times. He's thought he's had every one of you shaved a bunch. But ain't you glad he grew back again? And we're back in the house of God. And we're back to worshiping God. And we're back to praising God. Somebody ought to give him the glory here tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Back to the times. Go back to the times. 
Anybody ever gave up on you? Amen. Amen. Brother Ricky, they gave up on me. They gave up on you. Raymond, Raymond Connor, they gave up on you. Sidney Sparks, they gave up on you. But God never gave up on you. And God never gave up on me. Amen. Amen. And I feel something stirring here right now. If you've got a song, get it ready. Because I feel like having church a little while. Amen. Amen. Brother David, you obey God tonight, son. Obey God. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll tell you one thing about old Samson. I don't. Go ahead. Don't follow, follow me. I'll tell you one thing about old Samson. He's going to have to prove himself to me. Who do you think you are? That's right. Come on. That's right. Let's see your nail scars, pal. Let's see your thorn marks. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Amen. Amen. He's compromising on that. I'm not. I am saying, amen, there's a way back. I'm saying, amen, amen. If you don't believe there's a way back for backsliders, then preach it that way, friend. Amen. Don't beat around the bushes about it. Just tell them, tell them, go on down the road somewhere. Amen, amen. But if there's grace, it reaches. If there's grace, it saves. If there's mercy that's new every morning, then let's lift your hand about it. And let's worship God about it. And let's praise God about it. Let's thank God about it. Come on. Oh, Amen. I have got a backslid son right now. My son is back set on God. What do you think it would mean to me for somebody to call or him to call tonight and say, Dad, God save me tonight. Who do you think I'd call up first to go tell him I'm watching you? Brother David, I'll shout with you. You shout on me, I'll shout with you, sister. Amen. 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 It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. That we set ourselves up as the arbitrators of who can come back and who can't come back. And some have a golden pathway and a red carpet to bring them right back. You're right. And some there's nothing but Bob Moore and Concertina wire and bayonets stuck out towards them saying, we'll watch you every step of the way. Right. And I'm going to tell you, friend, it's level at the foot of the cross. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 And when he saves, he don't do it part way. Right. He don't do it kinda. When he brings you back, you his back. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Woo! Oh my God, I'm Praise God. Would you worship him with us tonight? Amen. 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 I ain't planning. I'm quitting. I ain't planning on getting back. But I will say this. If something happens and I grow weary and I grow cold, I hope I'm in driving distance of Pine Grove when it happens. I hope there's a city 
any sparks there. There. I hope we get a little fellowship from down Bruno. I hope there's a Robin Hines and Joe Hines there. I hope they're there. Amen. Amen. To say get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Amen. 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 Lord, had God preach from that scripture. He wist not that the Spirit had departed, but the Lord had departed from him. Amen. Amen. He, he sure did. You can. He can go, but he can come back too. Amen. Amen. I feel the Lord here tonight. Amen. Amen. Well, I, think, I think that just gives you a license to go out and do what it. No, it don't. That's not what it's saying. That's not what it's talking about. Well, I think it, it, is, is that license just to do any? No, it's not, friend. No, what it's saying is, weary soul, tired soul. Amen. There are some things that get cut down that don't grow back. But those things that do grow back, let them grow. Amen. 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 You, 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 not never building. Buildings don't grow back. Someone must build them. You cut off a hand, hands don't grow back. You cut off a foot, foot don't, they don't grow back. But she didn't cut off Samson's foot. Or his hand. Or his arm. They shaved off something. That grew back. Amen. And can I tell you, friend? Grace grows back. Grace grows back. Amen. I feel, I feel like giving God over here tonight. Sister Laura, I feel God's presence here tonight. I may be preaching this for me, Brother Rick. That may, may very well be in it. Now, chapter. I'm going to tell you, God's grace grows back. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Amen. Because hair grows back, it's not preaching that hands grow back. It's preaching that hair grows back. Amen. see grace the way God sees grace right. amen by grace you are saved through faith not of yourself not of works lest any man should boast against his own I want to worship God if you'll worship with me a little while